isolate inventories are crashing to their lowest level since 2008, worsening the U.S. diesel shortage. The Port of Los Angeles, the busiest port in North America, saw record volume in 2021. For the U.S. economy remains murky. Small businesses along with the rest of the country are preparing for whatever comes next. The average rate for a 30-year fixed mortgage is nearly 7%. That's more than double what it was two years ago. Americans now carry a record $986 billion worth of credit card debt. That's up 17% from the same time last year. With the average annual percentage rate, or APR, now at nearly 21%, yikes. The U.S. economy finds itself in a troubling situation, grappling with a range of unsettling indicators. The mounting national debt, sluggish job growth, widening income inequality, and faltering consumer confidence are just a few of the pressing concerns. American stocks closed in the red on 30th of May, a potentially catastrophic default, which can have a massive economic spillover all around the world. In this video, we'll explore the factors behind the current state of the U.S. economy, revealing a disheartening outlook and emphasizing the need for immediate action to prevent further deterioration. Wall Street veteran and Bitcoin bull Mike Novogratz says the economy is going to collapse and we're heading into a really fast recession. According to Mark Zandi, the chief economist at Moody's Analyst, the United States is facing a concerning situation with multiple indicators pointing towards an impending economic downturn. The housing market is declining, inventories are low, layoffs are happening and the Federal Reserve is raising interest rates. This creates a nervous business environment and any mistake could lead to a severe downturn. But what factors are driving the U.S. economy down the road? Number one, U.S. ports are experiencing a significant decline in cargo traffic. Reaching the lowest level since the early days of the pandemic, the Port of Los Angeles, the busiest port in the country, witnessed a 26% drop in cargo volumes during the typically bustling holiday shopping season in December. Import levels across the nation were down 24% compared to the previous year, while China's exports faced a substantial decline of almost 9%, the largest since February 2020. Port of LA Executive Director Gene Saroga stated that canceled or blank sailings are being observed. He predicts that more sailings will be canceled in the coming months as the economy continues to weaken. Number 2. November U.S. diesel inventories reached their lowest level since 2008, raising concerns about fuel shortages nationwide. Despite initial dismissals of government officials, the EIA recently reported a larger-than-expected decline in distillate inventories falling by 1.4 million barrels instead of the anticipated 396,000 barrel decrease. This alarming trend remained below the five-year average given that the entire U.S. economy relies heavily on diesel. It's crucial to monitor this situation closely. Insufficient supplies could lead to halted deliveries and skyrocketing prices, potentially exacerbating inflationary pressures. According to a recent PwC poll, approximately 51% of U.S. companies intend to implement a hiring freeze, while 44% are considering retracting job offers. Furthermore, around 45% of small businesses have already halted the hiring of new employees in the last quarter. Major companies like Groupon, FedEx, HBO Max, Shopify, Remax, and even Amazon have already made substantial job cuts due to rising costs and consumer spending constraints. Widespread layoffs have already become a reality. Number four, an alignable survey found that 41% of all small business owners in the United States could not afford to pay rent in November 2022. Despite the expectation of decreasing rent delinquency rates, the opposite trend has been observed during that quarter. The inability of commercial tenants to pay rent leads to a domino effect. Many vacant commercial spaces may emerge nationwide, causing landlords to struggle with loan payments. With high interest rates and an existing commercial real estate bubble, this situation could potentially trigger an unprecedented crash. 
Number five, a next insurance survey says 51% of small business owners in the U.S. fear that escalating prices may lead to the closure of their businesses. The growing frustration and stress among small business owners nationwide concerning inflation and the overall economic condition, along with persistent price hikes and disrupted supply chains, are compelling many business owners to work longer hours, increase prices, and even reduce their salaries to survive. They anticipate further challenges ahead, suggesting that the impact of inflation is far from over. Number six, wholesale prices are rapidly rising. The Bureau of Labor Statistics revealed that food prices contributed to higher than anticipated wholesale price growth last year. Over the course of the past month, the Producer Price Index, which gauges the cost borne by producers of goods and services, rose by 0.8%. Furthermore, it exhibited a substantial increase of 10.8% when considering the entire previous year. With expensive wholesale costs, consumers should brace themselves potential price increases. Number seven, food prices have soared. With vegetables increasing by 80%, eggs doubling in price and chicken and meat experiencing over 20% hikes, even dried canned and frozen goods are facing steep price increases. Americans struggle to afford groceries, leading many to resort to short-term loans. Zip a major player in the industry reported a more than doubling in demand for its services. As food companies like Mandalay, Kraft Heinz, PepsiCo, Nestle, and JBS announced further price surges, more Americans may need alternative means to pay for groceries. Number eight, as wages remain stagnant, an increasing number of individuals are relying on credit cards to meet their financial needs. Following the recent rate hike by the Federal Reserve, average credit card annual percentage rates are already close to 20% and are projected to rise further. As essential expenses become more costly, consumers are increasingly relying on credit. This trend contributed to a record-breaking credit card debt of $930.6 billion by the end of 2022 making an 18.5% increase compared to the previous year, as reported by TransUnion's quarterly report. Number nine, the ongoing housing market is anticipated to result in the most significant bubble burst in U.S. history. Escalating interest rates have already led to a 10-year low in home sales and a 25-year low in mortgage demand. Kieran Clancy, the senior economist at Pantheon Macroeconomics, warns of an impending collapse in prices. In preparation, Blackstone has allocated a $50 billion fund to acquire distressed real estate nationwide. The severity of the situation surpasses that of the 2008-2009 downturn, signaling troubling times ahead. Number 10, as of September, consumer debt in the United States, encompassing mortgages and various individual debts, exceeded $16 trillion and is nearly $17 trillion. Economists forecast it to reach $20 trillion by nearly 2024, implying that Americans are heading toward a staggering $20 trillion debt burden. Number 11, the decline in stock prices has had a devastating impact on retirement accounts. Not only billionaires like Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos, the market downturn also significantly diminishes Americans' retirement savings, erasing trillions of dollars in value. Alicia Manel, the director of the Center for Retirement Research at Boston College, estimates that U.S. retirement accounts suffered a loss of $3.1 trillion in 2022, impacting approximately 46 million accounts. Consequently, many retirees, particularly baby boomers, are compelled to postpone retirement, work longer to recover their lost savings. Number 12, the decline in stock prices resulted in the loss of around $20 trillion in household net worth last year, primarily financial assets and real estate. John Norris, chief economist at Oak Worth Capital Bank, described the transition from a stimulus-driven economy and inflated financial markets in 2021 to the current situation as a painful return to reality. 
He believes the impact will be far more severe than anticipated. Number 13, according to a report titled, the declines for equities will be much worse than what most are expecting, Wall Street is expected to face further turmoil in the coming winter. Morgan Stanley's chief investment officer, Mike Wilson, warns that the combination of falling demand due to higher interest rates and prices, along with the catching up on supply, has caught many companies off guard. As a result, weaker than expected earnings results are likely to surprise investors. Number 14, CEOs and financial experts nationwide are raising bell alarms about the ongoing economic downturn. A survey by the conference board reveals that 98% of CEOs anticipate a severe recession in the United States with global repercussions in 2023. Central bankers may not intervene as growth slows deliberately causing recessions to combat inflation. Executives like Goldman Sachs CEO David Solomon emphasized the slowing economic growth and the cautious sentiment among clients. With executives, economists, and analysts voicing similar warnings, pessimism is becoming increasingly widespread as conditions deteriorate. Number 15, last but not least, the four largest American banks are bracing for reduced profits amid an economic downturn impacting investment banking, as per Reuters. JP Morgan, Bank of America, Citigroup, and Wells Fargo, along with Morgan Stanley and Goldman Sachs, are expected to accumulate $5.7 billion in reserves to safeguard against potential loan defaults. The banks will likely adopt a more pessimistic economic outlook. Analysts estimate suggest an average 17% decline in fourth quarter net profit compared to the previous year. The financial challenges faced by these major institutions indicate underlying issues in the economy. How do these revelations about the state of the U.S. economy affect you personally? What role do you think government policies and financial institutions play in shaping the economy? Tell us your opinions, comment section. Also, remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our future videos on similar topics.